Should you be getting a second dog? I say yes, Amy. I say yes too. Why All right, not? that's it. That's the end of the video. <laughs> no need to watch on. Get five dogs. I will work out great. I love it. Now, there are some things to consider. There are. And yeah. there's many things to consider, actually. And one of the big things is that it's expensive. It's more expensive. So having two dogs, there's definitely um, budgetary things that go into it. Food. Yep. Vet bills. Yep. And if you travel, boarding. Yeah, doggy daycares and all that they're pricey so now you're gonna do it times two and that's expensive yeah so there's definitely those also just the management of it so your house um we have two dogs that shed 365 days a year constantly and so now it's double the dog hair double the poop like it's just it's extra housekeeping that if you're somebody who is at home a lot or isn't into lots of dog hair or, or any of that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't it? even notice it. I honestly, you don't ever notice I wouldn't it because I'm always like, cleaning it up. I'd be like, oh, there's dog hair on my plate. I just yeah. blow it off. Yeah. And then I'd keep eating. I love my dogs, but I do not. The hair just drives me nuts because it's, it's so much. But anyways, that's just something to consider. And then the other thing I would say is um, physically like being able to like walk them and take them out. If you're a person who's alone and you have bigger dogs, yes, it might be difficult because I can't take our two dogs out. Yeah, it's great if you're a couple or if you have a family that can kind of, you know, put attention towards the dogs. Definitely uh, very helpful. Right. If you have smaller dogs, you could probably, I could walk two smaller dogs. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, we've you got put a, them in one of those little push carts. I mean, we have like a hot 200 with 10 pounds of dogs to walk. So that's yeah, our dogs a lot are very dogs. big. Moe's 150 pounds, lose 80. So yeah. Yeah. So those are the things to consider, but the pros definitely outweigh the cons. They do. It's awesome. We say that we'll never not have two dogs again, because that's how beneficial it is having two dogs together. It's just, they're just happier. They're, they have, they have a friend, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's nice. And they're always it's together. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. And I, a built in playmate. Yeah. So like there's days that we live in new England, it's freezing cold out. We can't necessarily get outside, but they play together. They play in the house. We could let them outside in the snow. They'll play in the snow. Like they have like a built in playmate, but also like they've bonded. Like Mo yeah. is, is Louie's mom. Yeah. It's or dad. pretty weird. <laughs> More See our other videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, we got Moses uh, as a rescue. He's very shy, very timid, and we thought he needs a dog because he loves dogs. So we got a lab because we know their temperament and how lovely they are, and it was the perfect balance. But one thing to say, not everybody has a dog that might welcome a second dog. Yeah, this house. worked out really well. Yeah. Yeah, and we kind of knew that it would because Mo loves dogs. So yeah. Uh, if you also, the other thing that makes me leery is sometimes a person will have a dog that's like 10 or 11. They're like, we're going to get a puppy. Mm. And you, you, you really have to make sure your dog is going to be okay with Is that. up for that challenge because yeah. it's going to be challenging. You also have to make sure that your dog, no matter what age it is, if it's been a single dog, that it is, if it's protective of you or yeah. not great on walks or you can't bring it to the dog park because it gets riled up around other dogs, it might not be the best situation for having two dogs. Mm -hmm. It might just be happy being a solo dog in your house. So you really have to know the dog that you have before bringing in another dog. You're right, Hamish. And um, what else do we have on here? I guess the other thing that we just found is that the companionship of having them in our lives as mm. well. So it's a different dynamic. They the have more dogs, the better. Two, well, really? it's, you know, we need a bigger house then. Yeah, uh, they ain't going to happen. But. <laughs> but we could give the kids bedrooms to the dogs now. Mo won't go up the stairs. Oh, He's afraid of the stairs. But the companionship that we have with them as well, they're both such different dogs. Yeah. And they bring different personalities yeah. and, um, they just make our lives happy. Yep. So we would suggest if you can do it financially and all those other burdens you can handle, go for it. Good luck. Good luck.